Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be setting up a full house glider using the uh, Ethos operating system on a, this is a Tandem X20, uh, using the model setup wizard and the preset mixes. Uh, I usually don't set things up this way, I usually start with uh, free mixes and just do it all myself, but uh, I probably should use the uh, preset mixes because they make things a lot easier to set up. This was prompted by a suggestion from uh, 7demo7 Jeff Yang um, who has uh, X20S and uh, ASW28 glider to set up so let's get into it and see how we go about it. Um, I'm not really an expert of doing it this way so we'll be learning as we go along. I'll be using my Phoenix 1600 sloper because that has flaps and it's small enough to be able to show on the screen too. So, receiver I'm using is uh, X8R. To do this sort of mixing you definitely have to have ailerons on separate channels and flaps on separate channels. That's four channels for the four different wing control surfaces. You can't do this if you have any of them connected by a Y lead. So the mixes I'm going to set up are normal ailerons. Uh, crow braking with elevator compensation so crow braking or butterfly braking is flaps down and elevator up full span ailerons so that's where ailerons and flaps are working together and a rudder mix as well to help with turning all right starting from scratch we'll start with a new model we'll go with aeroplane because that includes motor Engine one channel, yes. Ailerons on two channels, yes. Flaps, we do have flaps on two channels. Traditional tail, elevator one channel, rudder one channel. You can then name it, let's call it Crow. Choose a picture. And the model has been created, so let's go and have a look at it now. Let's have a look at the mixer, and this tells you where you need to plug all your different components in. So ailerons will be plugged into channels 1 and 5, elevated into channel 2, throttle into channel 3, rudder into channel 4, and flaps into channel 6 and 7. So now at this stage I would connect everything up and make sure uh, all your control surfaces are operating in the correct direction. If they're not operating in the correct direction, then I would go to the outputs and say the uh, channel 1 aileron is going down when it should be going up, so we would invert it here. So I better check that. So quick check, ailerons are both going the same way, so that's odd. Uh, the radio thinks that the servos are uh, both pointing in the same orientation. Very interesting. All right, so we've got to change one of them. Rudder is going the wrong way, elevator is going the correct way. So, and uh, flaps too, we need to check flaps. We'll have to set them up actually. So what I'm going to do first is, uh, in the outputs, invert the rudder channel so that the rudder is working in the correct direction. Yes it is. Uh, and now we need to get the ailerons working correctly. So we'll invert the aileron on channel 1. And that's working correctly now. So. So yes, we already have flaps there, but I need to um, give it an input. Input, say we're going to put the flaps on this switch here. So that's going well. The, uh, you'll notice that the flaps are level in the middle position. They're also going up and down. And these flaps are only at 30% too, so we can play with those things a bit later on. Probably won't actually use flaps because we've got crow braking. So I'll just uh, take out that switch there. So now the, the flaps aren't working at all, but we still have access to them. Let's add a, where are we, a butterfly mix. That's what Jeff was most interested in, I think. So we tap butterfly in the mixes there. We go, where do we want to put it? Let's say the last position. Uh, active condition always on. Input we would choose a switch here so let's choose say this switch here that's my crow braking switch and I can see already when I flick this switch 
the elevator's going down a little bit, the flaps are going down a little bit, but the ailerons are also going down a little bit, which is the reverse of what we want the ailerons to do, so we'll have to tweak that one. So now we can go through the mixes. This is the aileron 1 mix, uh, that is 10%. We want to make that negative to make it go the other way, and I would increase it a fair bit too, so let's go to 30%. Aileron 2 on channel 5 will make that one negative 30 as well. So now we can see the ailerons are coming up nicely, flaps are going down, but they need to go down a lot further than that. And the elevator is also going down just a little bit, which is probably good to stop uh, ballooning up when you pop the brakes on. So what we'll do now is increase the amount of weight on the flaps. Flap 6 and 7, they're only 10%, so we'll take them right up to say, uh, well, you want serious braking when you're using crow brakes so let's take the weight up to 100% on both of them and see what happens they're going in the right direction so we don't need to change that direction there so there we go we've got flaps going down nicely ailerons coming up nicely ailerons still working excellent now if you find when you slam the brakes on uh, and your glider balloons up or doses down you can adjust the elevator weight and see we've just got a tiny little bit of elevator down when the brakes are on so if you wanted more or less compensation from the elevator uh, you can change that value there i'll leave it at that for the moment so that's the butterfly setup pretty much now let's set up uh, full span ailerons so that is uh, an aileron to flaps mix. So you want the flaps to do the same thing that the ailerons are doing. Let's add that one. So now we need to choose something to activate them. Uh, this switch here in the down position, S switch down. And we'll put the weight of that up so we can see what we're doing too. Let's put it up to say 60%. So the flaps will follow the ailerons 60% uh, of their travel. So that's working quite well. Let's uh, get out of that one. Okay, so we have butterfly uh, ailerons to flaps. Let's add uh, rudder with ailerons. Last position active condition uh, which one will we use this switch over here SG down now we've got rudder working with aileron let's turn the weight up just to make it a lot more obvious 50% so there now you have the rudder working in conjunction with the ailerons to help with turns uh, when that switch is on and the final one we do is uh, camber. Here we go, here's camber here. We'll select camber, last position. That um, gives a little bit of down deflection of, or up and down deflection of ailerons and flaps together. So we can choose uh, a switch for that one. So that is giving us a little bit of up when the switch is in the up position of the elevator ailerons and flaps and a little bit of down uh, in the down position of the elevator ailerons and flaps and everything neutral in the neutral position so you can play with them of course if you want if you want two two clicks of down camber instead of reflex neutral and camber uh, you can apply a curve here which i will do let's add a curve add a curve type custom curve, need two points, points configuration, uh, point two Y we need to just put that up to 100, that way we only get an action from 0 to 100 of the switch. So that just gives us two clicks of, of down deflection rather than up, middle and down. You might have that for a, a speed float and thermal settings but you can play with them of course and get them to do whatever you want 
So yeah, let's go through that again. We have ailerons, elevator, rudder, all working correctly. Can't remember what we're doing now. Crow braking on this switch. Flaps going down, ailerons going up, and elevator going down a little bit. Rudder working with ailerons on that switch. Full span ailerons there. And camber on that switch. So hopefully that clarifies things for you. It uh, makes mixing, makes complicated mixing reasonably easy. You just have to go in and play with your weights and the direction of the of the weight, the negative or positive, to make sure they're all going in the correct direction. Thanks for watching.